Uh, be sure to get the stream right now, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. While you're there, like, follow, and subscribe. We're now joined in studio by Mac. Good morning. Good morning. Means it's time for Chicks on Dudes. This is where Mac will answer maybe an uncomfortable question, maybe a question you just didn't have the guts to ask somebody face-to-face. -face. Well, you can text in those questions or email in those questions, kmshow at rock1061.com. So, Mac, are you ready to uh, give the Low Country and Coastal Empire all kinds of fantastic advice? I think so. All right, here we go. Question number one. Wait. Uh, there we go. There we go. Question number one. Hey, chicks. Let's say there's this attractive man. He has a nice face, a nice body, takes care of himself. He's confident, smart, respectful, and kind. But there's one thing. He's goofy. Not goofy in a stupid way, but he'll do stuff like pretending to throw a fit in a funny way and dancing and singing around, though he knows when to stop. Would he still be hot, or does he lose points? Compared to a good-looking man who doesn't act like that, though. So would he still be hot because he's goofy, or is he not as hot as somebody who is not as goofy? I think he'd be ten times hotter if he was goofy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be with somebody who is stuck up and serious all the time. I mean, have you met me? I don't know. <laughs> I think it, it, it just depends on who you are, but I think it's ten times hotter if you're goofy. See, this is why I like Mac. Her standards are so low. Her, it's just absolutely so low. For, for, for fat guys like me, she gives a, a, a beam of light that there's hope to, <laughs> to date a girl who would be anywhere close you know, to, to attractive. It's just... I'm a very goofy, stupid person. My wife is way, way. She, I, I outkicked my coverage, as they said. Yes, it's just one of those things. I'm not a serious guy. I am. I, I swear to God, didn't write this question. But this guy was uh, oddly when he wrote it. He he came very high on himself at first. He's like, I'm gonna. He goes, Let's say there's this attractive man. He's talking about himself. He's got a nice face, nice body, takes care of himself, confident, smart, respectful. But then he just feels bad for himself about being goofy. I agree. I don't think he should feel bad about having a personality because that is exactly what he's describing. If you're goofy, you have somewhat of a personality. If you're like a straight up, you know, do it by the books kind of regular guy, boring. Uh, my wife has been married to me for almost 22 years. Mm -hmm. I would consider myself very goofy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, man. You're very goofy? Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah. I would say you're very goofy. Marshall's a lot goofier than Ah, uh, see? See, there you go, man. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yes, you are goofy, but No, Marshall now she's is... trying to uh, come yeah, back. Yeah. No, 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 you're, you're totally You're goofy. so goofy. You're like the you're goofiest, so, man. so goofy. <laughs> I'm not good at picking sides. <laughs> I'm the boss. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> you're the goofiest. Uh, so, uh, so, like you said, I mean, just be yourself. Yeah. So don't don't hold back, man. No. If you want to be goofy, go for it. Just don't dance. Try to keep dancing to a minimum. I don't know. My dad is 50-something years old, and he'll dance in public. No, so really? I mean, no, that's a good question. So being, It's embarrassing. Being but. goofy is different than just being a bad dancer. You can be out there and being goofy and dancing and having a good time. But sure. if you're out there seriously thinking you're doing your thing and looking good, but you're just a bad dancer, is that worse? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Straight face, yes. Um, well, that's why I strictly I don't dance. I just do the robot. Um, I just, I, I'm exclusive to the robot. I've signed a lifetime deal just doing the robot. So people are like, "Why is that guy always doing the robot?" That's just me. Yes, sign. Who did yeah. you sign a lifetime deal with? Jesus. Good answer, Marshall. Jesus, what's up? What are you gonna? You, you hate on that? No, I don't what, hate what, on that love, at all. Little, little, love little Nas X over there with their Satan <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> All right, coming up, we've got more with Mac, oh more God. Chicks on Dudes. Two more questions to get to. Don't forget, if you've got a question you would like to ask Mac, you can email the show, kmshow at rock1061.com. ACDC and realize it's Rock 1061. Get the live stream, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. You can also listen to the show. Download the app for free, in-home smart speaker, and the website, rock 1061 Dot com. Mac is in studio. That means Chicks on Dudes is going down. You got a question for Mac? You can always email the show, show at rock1061.com. Marshall, what's uh, our second question? All right, so our second question, it's a roller coaster. So hold on to your pants. Here we go. Hey, Mac, Cotter, and Marshall, I've always been into panties. My ex helped me explore this a lot more, and I expressed my desire to wear her panties. And not only did she say yes, she enjoyed it, and I definitely did too. 
My question is, now that I'm single again, is that really a common thing? Girls liking or being okay with a guy liking panties and enjoying the fact that I like wearing them. No. Any help or advice is much appreciated as I've been single now for a bit and I miss it to the point it makes me depressed. So are you single because it was because you are not in that relationship anymore? Is it or is it because you have this obsession with panties? It sounds like he has an obsession. I was gonna go with the latter because yeah. that's look, I'm not judgmental whatsoever. Mm-hmm. People have their own quirks. But you're no longer with the person that you were turning on so with no said boyfriend, paintings. No boyfriend of yours threw your underwear on no. and did a goofy dance. That no. you know of. That's not goofy. <laughs> that is weird. But why is it weird? I mean, why? I mean, if, if it makes this guy feel happy, makes him feel good about himself, you do you, man. Mm-hmm. Event, I mean, now, okay. don't, don't bring it out on date one. Going no. back to the red flag topic. Right. It is kind of a red flag. Get to know somebody. <laughs> Wait at least a year. Yeah, well, I don't know. Get to know somebody. And right. then even if it's something that they typically wouldn't look at and say, I'm, I'm okay with this. And if they get to know you and you e- ease somebody into it, you never know. How would you broach the conversation of, I want to wear your panties? That's a good question. Right. I have no idea. I mean, I think you, I don't know, you go the route of just, oh, I like those. Just complimenting maybe first. Okay, that, you know, yeah, these yeah. look good. I, I really like that. Oh, they feel nice. You know, so you're, you're, you're going that angle. I think I would go with something like more subtle even. Like I would be, oh, let's say at a restaurant. I'd be like, I'll have the shrimp scampi. I want to wear your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think I would probably go with something like that. So, I mean, it's a little jarring. Yeah. Maybe wait till after the waiter walks away. <laughs> yeah. But definitely. I think something like that. So, that's, so you're saying. It's weird. I we, mean, if you're not into it, I get that. Yeah. I mean, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> so, so, what if a guy that you say were in a longer term relationship mm-hmm. with and then did bring it up as you were in a relationship, felt committed to this mm-hmm. person, would it be something that you might be more accepting to? Oh, yeah. Definitely. See? So go with Marshall. Don't do that on the first date. Don't yeah. do that for at least six months. And then okay. try to break into it. Six. Okay, so you're saying this guy should go find a girl, yeah. then wait six months in, and then be like, yo, that underwear looks fly. It'd yeah. be cool if I was wearing it. Right. I mean, because you, <laughs> you could always get your own, wear it around your house. Yeah. I mean, nobody stop. If, if, if that's something you want to do, do it. It that's just a- feels it just feels real soft on your giblets. I get it. <laughs> Girls' underwear is generally the very very soft. The fact that you just said the word giblets, giblets. makes my stomach turn. What? what? I don't What's like the with... word giblets. What's wrong with giblets? Uh, I have a the... list of okay, words. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Moist. Ah! Ah, uh, I knew it. That's one. Knew that's it. One. Knew all it. right, all right. So this is another segment for another day, but uh, words it. that mm-hmm. bother Mac. We need. Oh, to, I'll write that down. We'll do that bit later. I love this. All right. Third question. Third question. Guys, comment with words that might disgust Mac. Please don't. All right. <laughs> One more question for chicks on dudes. All right. Every morning, I made sure my girlfriend had a good morning message to wake up to. Aww. And every night, a good night. But she broke up with me and mentioned that it was extremely cringy. Is this true? Did I ruin part of the relationship due to this? No. Um, so, personally speaking, I was in a relationship where I got good morning messages and good night messages. And I enjoyed it. And then I knew something was wrong when I stopped getting said messages. <laughs> he got busy at night, huh? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm, but I don't. <laughs> it's no, like it's, it's like that cringy. It's like that story where um, this lady had access to her boyfriend's Fitbit. And then she noticed one Saturday night at 3 a.m. His heartbeat mm-hmm. raised extraordinarily high. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. So, I think that's that's kind of what happened there, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think with with this situation, I, I guess it depends on what the messages are. I mean, if you're just saying good morning, I love you, good night, I love you, I mean, I think that's fine. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're scrolling out, you know, like a, 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 a poem on the uh, on the mirror in lipstick, okay, it gets a little creepy after yeah. a while. I, I get why. I get it. it's he sounded a little clingy though, like you know, uh, a separation. You know, it makes I mean, the heart grow okay. fonder. I usually say you don't, have, you don't say, you know, good morning, good night, every single I day. I usually text my wife once a day, just saying I love you. I mean, yeah. what a try hard. No, I mean, what a try. I just, I just, <laughs> that's it. You just, I love you. I mean, it depends. She already knows. So, why I, do you guys so, say it? Because why? Why not? Just because. Tell you, her in person. I I do when I get you home. You can't leave her alone for eight hours. No, get I'm off your wife, dude. <laughs> get off your wife. I Jesus. wish I can get on my wife. I will. Wait, 
I will say, don't write me a book. I like the good morning, have a great day, or good night, have a good night's sleep. That's what I'm saying. Just keep, I think if you keep it short, I don't think there's anything wrong with don't that. Don't write a book. No. I mean, I, right. I mean, I, not my preferred method. Well, no, you have no heart or right. soul. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't be hurt if you, <laughs> if you are infallible like me. So, the way uh, I roll. I right, fair enough. Mac, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, if you guys have a question for Mac, all you got to do is email it into the show, kmshow at rock1061.com. That was Chicks on Dudes. Coming up, we're going to wrap up the show. Marshall's Music News is on the way. Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061.